Yo, what is good, League Timmy's about Leagues, man. Welcome back to another video, yo. All of NBA 2K21 next gen rapper boys just leaked, man. Um, I feel like this will be a good reaction video, a good video to watch to react to, given that the park was just released yesterday and already rapper boys are getting leaked. And I actually talked about one of the rapper boys in yesterday's video. At the end, you heard a helicopter, obviously insinuating. Helicopters coming back, but will it be top rep reward though? I feel like they should change the top rep reward and it shouldn't be a helicopter If so a helicopter and like as I know you feel me like it'll be whack if it's just the same exact rep rewards You feel me like my rep rewards my favorite favorite rep rewards comment down below What's your favorite rep rewards? I'll tell you mine's um easily hands down to jetpack and tiger hands down the best rep rewards of um all time and took it all time man I for real man yeah that, that, that shit was fun. especially the tiger having a, a a tiger walk around you the whole park you got to pick between the white one and like the regular tiger that was fire man they need to bring that back but um and then they they next year they did the jetpack that was fire man that was hard man having to fly around and honestly I'm not a big fan of the of the helicopter I'm not gonna lie I'm not a big fan and it's annoying too having to hear that like back when the Legend Glitch was out last year. Everybody had the helicopter. That was so annoying. Everybody was flying in with a helicopter. That was mad annoying. But um, let's see. Let's see what they talking about, man. Hopefully it's different. Uh, let's see. Without further ado, let's hop right into this video. My boy Phantoms always coming through with the 2K news early. Background gameplay that you guys are going to be seeing are probably going to be the same background gameplay that you guys have seen in some of my previous videos. And the reason for that is I just don't play NBA 2K21 on current gen. It's not fun. I haven't played yeah. it in probably a month and I don't plan on playing 2K until next gen comes out. I don't know why I mentioned that, but I just wanted to make that clear because I probably imagine... I feel you, bro. You 100%, bro. I feel you 100%. Yeah, if y'all see my first video when y'all probably thought I quit YouTube, it's literally this is the reason why. I should you see how now I'm trying to switch my content. I'll be, I like making videos, but like 2K21 is not it. It's very boring. It's not fun. I haven't played it. And like, I, I play. I think I, I haven't even played more than 200 part games, bro. It was it's so bad, man. I, hands on the worst 2K, bro. At least unfun 2K, man. But I feel you, man. I feel you 100%, man. I know you feel. Imagine that some of you guys have noticed that there really hasn't been that much of difference in gameplay or background gameplay, whatever the case may be. But to be honest with you, a lot of you guys probably don't care at all, so I don't even know why I mentioned that. But moving forward, NBA 2K21 on Next Gen has been releasing a lot of information in regards to the most anticipated game mode, which is now known as the city. Now, some things that they didn't touch on was the rep. Now, we know affiliations is coming back. We know that you have to play in the same affiliation to be able to get the maximum amount of rep we know some little things but we don't really know anything in specific we don't know how you're supposed to get the most rep hopefully this year you don't have to throw alley oops the entire time or anything Facts. like that but in nba Facts. 2k21 next gen Hope the rep like rewards that. have currently leaked now keep in mind these are some very, very i don't like that i don't like the how everybody had to be throwing I, I mean i was doing it but that was the only way you know to actually get i, I wanted to be equal like 2K17, it was all just score a lot or some shit like that. Or it was like, no, it wasn't a score. No. Oh, it was just get a good grade, I think it was. Get a good grade. And you can have fun and do everything. Just make sure you have a good grade. But no, in 2K20 and 2K21, you just, like, current gen, you had to throw alleys and just double tap wide the whole game, like. Which is annoying, man. Hopefully, it's not like that. Very like hard that. images to actually make out what they are. I'm gonna try to but stop I'm gonna show you and much, try to get you guys the best information possible. So so the first video. screenshot you're seeing right here is Pro 5 or Pro 1 all the way through to Pro 5. Now, I'm not entirely too sure what. Pro 5? What game was like that? That's 2K16 and 17. It's five things now. That's fire. Okay, 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 okay. Number one is, I'm guessing those are the player pair. Oh, number one? No. Number one is probably you, you got to choose the four affiliations, okay? Pro one, you get to choose. Oh, yeah, because it's the rookie stage. And then once you hit pro one, you get to choose the affiliation. Valid. All right. Show off stick. And I see hair color. I guess you could change your hair color. All right. The cloud glasses and arm. All right. Uh, you get Halloween stuff. Uh-huh. All right, 
Okay, Gary, do that. Uh, pro is, pro is exactly. always like. I'll leave the picture up for a little bit so you guys can pause and you guys can look and see at what's what's at what rep reward, so forth and so forward, whatever the word I was looking for there. But that is the rep rewards from Pro 1 to for Pro 5. And then moving forward, you then have All Star 1 to All Star 5. So All Star 1 to All Star 5. Oh! Oh! A motorcycle? Oh. All Star 1. Niggas getting crazy. A motorcycle. Okay. All Star 2. I would say what if they changed like the logo of like the All Star thing. All Star 2. Some. One of those colorful shirts. I know those shirts. I made one of those before. Um, Three. Can't really tell. It just show off stick empty. It's my team stuff. I don't know. There's a lot happening in All Star Three, All Star Four. The googly eyes. Why is Halloween stuff like one of those All Star All Star Five is on? Five. You're gonna see a picture here. Where I like the, the All Star Five are, one. And you can see star. kind of that All Star One. You get a. I think that's a bicycle. I'm pretty sure that's a bicycle. I don't it's know. It's a I motorcycle, bro. And then there's it's other things from All Star One to All Star Five. My wild sure that? Is that a bike? Four. That looks like a motorcycle. You get the move. clout goggles and things like it's that. Fire in and the back. then All that's Star Five, you, you know get what? access to the. Um, accessories, I guess it says access to the new flame pattern on the sleeves and swags. So that is what you get from All Star 1 to All Star 5. Then moving forward, you go to Superstar, Superstar 1 through 5. Alright, uh, Superstar 1. God damn, look at Superstar 5. What the heck? Uh, Superstar. Oh, alright, so sure, this is at Superstar 2 now. Okay. You get suits at Superstar 3? Dang. And that's Jim Ryan and a My Team pack. Slides? I ain't see that in the trailer. You get slides now? Those are slides, right? Yeah, those are slides. Yeah, my man told me those are slides. Show off stick. That's all you got at Superstar 5? I think you got something. 5. It's crazy to think that there's rep rewards 1 to 5. So Superstar Who leaked this? 1 How to the 5. Heck got this? The first rep reward kind of looks like there's more sleeves. Superstar 2, I don't know if that's supposed Super to be OD showing sleeves, bro, that bad. you're able to reveal your shirt off or you're able to reveal a new tattoo. I'm not really too sure. I think that means that you unlock the tattoos. And then All Star 3, I think that is the Gym Rat. Or Superstar 3, I think that is the Gym Rat badge. Superstar 4, I'm honestly not entirely too sure what that is. And then All-Star or Superstar 5, rewards include new show-off animations. So you get new Superstar 5 animations. And then moving on from Superstar 5, you now have Elite 5, which is absolutely crazy. Elite 5. What's Elite 1? What is that? Are those the statues? Oh, I guess you could travel now, is what I'm guessing. You could travel. That's what I'm getting, because I, I was thinking about that. Because, um, remember in, remember in, in, um, 2K16 and 17, you couldn't just travel, you know, regularly. You had to be a certain rep to travel and play in different parks. So I'm thinking that's what that is, because it shows, like, the statues of each, each park. That's probably what that is, to travel. The Hoverboys, Elite 2. Well, they give you only one thing in each rep. I mean, each thing. Um, Elite 3 is suits. Elite 4 is double VC. Elite 5 is mascot. So at Elite 5, the last reward you get for Elite 5 in there, there is a hoverboard and some other things like that. I'm not really too sure. Elite 5, they are bringing back mascots, which is no one's surprise. Wait, this wait, is wait, the wait, thing that they bring back. Basically, they are bringing back mascots, which is like that. I'm not really sure. Elite 5, the last reward you get for Elite 5 in there, there is a hoverboard and some other things like that. I'm not really too sure. Elite 5, uh, they are bringing back mascots, right, yeah. which is no one's surprise. This is a thing that they bring back basically every single 2K, every single year, because it's something that people always, always enjoy. And then the last thing, after you get all the way through to Elite 5, it is Legend, and the Legend is... Oh, yeah. No, this damn commercial. Come on. You get a free copy of NBA 2K22. Wait, <laughs> he's, he's saying, wait, free copy of 2K22, limited supply. 
extra badge points and a travel in style. A limited supply, you get extra bad points and you travel in style. So it really doesn't sound like there's really much difference from NBA 2K21 on current gen for NBA 2K21 on next gen when it comes to hitting legend. Now, yeah, I don't know lie. what this picture entails. I don't know what this picture means. He, is it not, what do you mean you don't know what it means? Look at it, bro. He's going to be running like Flash, bro. You get like a, he's just going to be running fast. You're going to be fast as shit as a legend. I don't know if you turn into the Flash and start running around the park like a maniac, but this right here is what you get for hitting legend. It's kind of the same thing as NBA 2K21. I think it's actually the identically the same thing as... <laughs> Yo, imagine that. Because legends, they be having a run, like... And stuff like that because like they mostly be having crowds on them and stuff so like when they get to a court people always be taking their court if you like jimbo bolting bro you hitting the naruto and you're gonna be you're gonna be hitting the naruto and the motherfucking man you're never gonna lose no court it's nba 2k21 but some of the rep rewards are different i don't know if you guys are gonna be disappointed with seeing legend or whatever the case may be but these right now are the leaked rewards for NBA 2K21 on next gen. How these got leaked was by someone who actually ended up leaking a lot of information about NBA 2K21 on next gen. This guy also leaked. Um, this guy's name's The Legend 2113. Apparently, this guy was responsible for leaking the neighborhood turning into the city, and then the neighborhood ended up turning into the city. So this guy is a pretty well-known and respected leaker. So I don't think this is fake unless someone went out of their time to photoshop terribly quality photos of the rep awards for nba 2k21 on next gen i think this is an accurate representation of what we're going to get for the rep awards on next gen now, i'm not gonna lie i don't mean to overreact or say anything negative but a lot of these look like the same exact rep rewards the only thing that's different I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I'm stupid or not, or if I just haven't played NBA 2K in a while, but I'm pretty sure the reps only went to three. Now, the last time that the reps went to five was when it was Superstar 5, and I'm pretty sure that was 2K16 when you couldn't unlock the Tigers. I don't know. I could be stupid here, but I think it was NBA 2K16 was the last time that we saw rep rewards go all the way to five. So for example, like Rookie 5, Pro 5, All-Star 5, Elite 5, Superstar 5, whatever the case may be, the last time we saw that was in NBA 2K16. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I have a very good hunch that that was the last time we saw rewards go all the way to five as opposed to three that we've seen a lot in the previous years. Since this information has been leaked about the rep rewards and things like that, obviously the first things that people notice is that the reps are now one to five as opposed to one to three. So as soon as people started seeing that, the same question was being asked. And the question was, since it's now one to five as opposed to one to three in terms of the reps, are you going to be getting more reps for each game? Honestly, I have no idea. I don't, I don't think, think anyone so. can really answer that question until so. we actually see the game play and see how the rep the is game to be longevity. Like I so said earlier, if I don't think they're going to do that because they want the game to be longevity. I feel like, I don't want, again, I don't want to be... Everybody was on me on TikTok because I was like, don't be fooled. I really don't see no difference between, with next gen. It didn't really wow me like that besides like the, the way the park looks i could care less about looks i want the game to feel different man that's the thing man 2k20 2k21 and now next gen is gonna all be the same it looks like everything i wasn't paying attention to how like what was new what was you know i was looking at gameplay that's what i was looking at i was looking at how I don't know because the game is not out, you feel me? But like, I feel like, I, f I really do have a strong feeling it's going to feel the same. And that's why they adding it to five. They added all these new cool stuff because they want it to last longer. They want that to be the reason we last longer on the game because honestly, it's not going to be different. That's just me. That's just me. Rep is distributed off alley-oops and things like that, which I don't think it makes sense this year because the reason why the rep was allocated like that, the reason why the rep was distributed like that in previous years is because there were archetypes. Now, this year, there are archetypes, but your takeover is not judged or your takeover does not dictate... Sorry, your build does not dictate what takeover you get. Now, that was the reason why rep 
was so different for certain people because certain people had playmaking in their build and then if they had playmaking in their build they threw lobs and the more lobs they threw the more rep they got that's the reason why that worked but this year we've already known that takeover does not depend on your build you can use whatever takeover you want you can get like primary takeover secondary takeover and things like that now maybe maybe the takeovers may have something to do with the rep this year i highly doubt it but maybe they do but as of right now the rep rewards are leaks these are i don't want to say they're 100 confirmed but i have a very very strong feeling that this is going to be the rep rewards that come out when we get nba 2k21 on next gen now they did a lot they did do affiliations they added the city i'm not going to sit here and complain because yeah NBA you gotta give them benefit of the doubt. next gen looks like the right step in the direction for 2k because let's be honest if nba 2k21 on next gen is is terrible and it's not fun a lot of people are giving up and i know a lot of people say that every single year but this year with next gen there's no excuse for nba 2k21 on next gen to be a half and very flawed game it would make no sense but if the rep rewards were the same i can definitely see a lot of people complaining and seeing a lot of people getting extremely frustrated with the fact that they didn't change up any of the rep rewards you never know maybe this is fake maybe all this comes out and it's fake i don't know but i'm 90 percent sure that this is real i don't know why anyone would go out of their way to screenshot terrible quality photos and send them out to people but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like drop a w or an l if you guys like this information that you received about the rep rewards it's an NBA 2K21. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. All right, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. Let me know if you guys like and enjoy the Rep Rewards and you hype and stoked to see what 2K21 and Next Gen really has to hold. Um, and let me know down below how you feel about the game, man. You feel me? Um, I'm going to keep reacting. Yeah, comment down below what else I should react to, man. We're going to keep going crazy, man. Without further ado, man, it's about it. See you in the next one, League Team. Deuces.